So in this project, we're going to be knocking down a wall, putting some beams in, and basically expanding my home gym setup. So this is my gym setup right now. It's kind of a mess, but I got my lat pull down set up, adjustable bench here, dumbbells, power rack, and bench here. Also got my TV. And so the idea is we're going to knock this wall down here and make it into an L-shaped basement. So it'll it'll cut over right beside the washer and dryer here. What do you want, Shinzi? So this is the unused space back here that I want to put a hack squat machine and some other stuff. So I'm going to knock that down, put a couple beams in because of this. Got this supporting here right now and I got one here. So I'm going to cut the main beam out, put a, a six inch I beam in there. And then I'm going to put a four inch I beam here so I can retain the headroom. So yeah. So I got a couple pieces of four inch and six inch I beams, but they're too short. So I got to extend them. So that's what we're going to start with. So this is what we're working with. We got this piece of four inch I beam. It's about four feet. One piece there that's about four feet and one piece there that's about four feet. So unfortunately, you gotta weld three of them together and then cut it down. And then this is the piece of six inch I got. It's nine feet long, of course. So you gotta cut some off of this one and weld it on there. And then yeah, cut it down to length and put it in. It's gonna be a lot of work, but free is free so the way she goes Okay, we got the first two pieces welded together here. I ended up using the TIG for all of it. This machine does real good on the thick stuff, especially with that water cooler. So now we are gonna put this last piece on and then we'll go from there. That was heavier than I thought. All right, now it's time to get this thing buffed off and painted.
Okay, we got her all welded up, buffed off, painted. Let's take a look at her. So I only had one can of paint left. So I left the bottom unpainted, which will be the top side that sits up against the ceiling. So it doesn't matter. But yeah, came out pretty nice. It's a lot of work, but should work out good, I think. So I've been using this 8 inch Milwaukee circular saw cordless this thing works awesome especially for stuff like this the only thing is it's loud as hell but it beats using the grinder or plasma you know nice straight cuts fast good stuff Blade is getting worn out. There's not supposed to be nearly that many sparks. Okay, so these ones are all complete. Got three of them spliced together here. And I got this little foot and a half section on this one. So now we're gonna move on to the basement portion of it.